We're going to see now how to do regular indexing or selection with our PMS series. Basically, we want to select objects, we want to select individual elements out of the series. And we will see that there are multiple ways of selecting things, sometimes by index, sometimes by just the sequential position. And also sometimes we can get only just one element or multiple elements. Again, we're going to see all these in detail right now. We have a regular pandas series created. Again, it's representing the population of the G7 countries, Canada, France, Germany, Italy, Japan, the UK and the US. And we are going to explore first selection by index. So in this case, you know what you want to select. I want to know the population of Canada, for example. So in this case, as you can see, the selection is very intuitive. It's pretty much the same thing as accessing an individual object in a Python dictionary, right? So we have the series and we just do uh, G7 pop, in this case, the name of the variable. And I usually call these pseudo operator at. So I say G7 pop at Canada. It's not at like, a, like the at symbol. It's just the way I, I refer to it. G7 pop at Canada right indexing by Canada and that gives me that returns the population of that given country. This is similar to Python dictionaries and that's why it's so important to be proficient with Python before starting the data science process and it's that the important value right here is the population. This is just the label that we use to have a more documented, more intuitive access to that given value. But the real important deal here is the value. Okay. So again, given that we know what we're looking for, we're looking for, I want to know what's the population of Canada. And I can just say G7 pop at Canada. And I get that a couple more examples in this case, Japan, and the United Kingdom. There is also an, an alternative, not recommended to be honest, indexing option in which you can use the dot method. So G7 pop dot, and in this case, you can use Japan or Canada. And it's pretty much this line right here, line seven is the same as line five. But this is not recommended. The recommended option is to use square brackets and as a string. Why it's not recommended? Well, because for example, these. Um, label this index will not work because it has a blank space. Invalid characters will not work either. So again, this is not recommended. The recommended option is with square brackets. Moving forward, let's do a little bit of multi selection and slicing. The first thing we're going to do is slicing, which basically means let me show you again the contents of G7 uh, pop. There you go. The first thing we're going to do is select a slice, multiple elements out of a pandas series. To do that, this is fairly similar to what we do with a regular Python list with in, uh, slicing. The only difference is that, of course, we're using the indices. So this is this is usually a confusing example because it's kind of a combination of um, slicing from a list with regular string labels as with a dictionary, which dictionaries don't have slicing. So that's the confusing part. So in this case, again, I can just say, give me all the countries or sorry, give me all the populations of the countries contained between Germany and Japan. And there's a, a very, very, very important difference here with regular Python uh, lists. And is that if you remember lists, the upper limit in slices is not included with series, the upper limit is included. So in this case, it includes Germany, Italy and Japan. All the countries are included. Again, if you look at a regular Python list and you select, for example, from indices one to three, the object at position three is not included. This is something different in just pure pandas. So again, we're selecting this lies Germany, Italy, Japan. I want you to take a look at the object returned by this slicing operation. The slice returns a new series which contains those countries, but this is just a subset of the original series. In our previous examples, we were receiving just one value. It was returning one individual value. In this case, this is just a float. In this case, with the slicing, what we receive is again a new series, which is just a subset of the series. So we could, for example, store it in an intermediate variable. Jer to Japan, it's going to be 
uh, this intermediate variable and now we can have access to these series to do I don't know any further processing that we need there is also the option to do multi indexing indexing this is similar to what we saw with numpy arrays in which you are passing multiple indices that you want to select from that given structure in this case the series so I can just say from this series of countries, I want to select the populations of Italy, France, and the United States. So just kind of random selection. You can just say, I want to get these and that and that, and that's what you receive. Again, the result is a subset of the original series. The result is another series. Um, just, this is kind of obvious, but just to point it out, the original series has not been shrinked or there are no elements removed. The original series is still in the same way it was before because again and again and again pandas is has an immutable nature now moving forward we're gonna see sequential indexing or just se uh, se selection by position this basically means i don't know that particular index i don't know which country i want to get data from but i know the position in the series right so i want to know the number of inhabitants of the third country in my series third because a series is going to be zero index right so in this case we get the third country is germany so we get right there the um the given population so these indices work pretty much in the same way as you do in a regular list right so for example um, if we want to select the first country, it's going to be position zero. If we want to select the, the last country, it's going to be position minus one. So this all works in the same way. So first country is right here, Canada, 35 million inhabitants. For the US, it is 310, 318, sorry, 318 right there because it's minus one. So the big difference we're seeing right here is the usage of these dot I lock thing that um, it's just a technicality. I want you to first understand conceptually that a series is a sequential object. So this position, this is the population right here. This is the population of Canada. And this is the entirely, we could say it's the first element, the first country. Uh, and this is, for example, the last country, right? And the population under the United States. And we have um, access to these values in two possible ways. By index, if you know what you're looking for, I want to know the population of the United States, or again, by position, if you don't know, or actually if you don't care, the actual index of that value. I wanna know what's the population of the last country. I don't know, and I don't care what country that is. Now, going back again to the technical detail, what we have right here is that to access the population, sorry, to access an element of a series by sequential position, we're gonna use this I lock. And it has an I because to be honest, there is also a lock version, which will select elements by, um, by index. It's present in the series, we don't use it so often, we will use it on data frames, so I don't want you to get confused. One is gonna be I lock, this one, by position, I, and just lock, it's going to be by index. So again, to select something by position, what we're going to use is iLock, the series dot iLock, and then just the numeric position. This iLock also supports um, slicing and also supports multi indices. Something that is going to be common is that sometimes you don't know, again, you don't know what's that given country. You say, I want to select the population of the last country. I don't know what country it is. You can always use the index. So G7 pop is going to give you just a list of it's, it's a series dot index is going to give you the actual index. And now here you could do something like, for example, minus one, and that will give you the last country. Finally, you should you could use this country to do G7 pop at this country, right? Um, or just if you put everything together, you could do something like G7 pop pop at this given country. But again, it's a lot of effort. You can just do minus one and you get the last country out of the series. So again, selection on series is either by 
index or by sequential uh, position. Now, we have the chance to actually introduce the concept of modifying a series. Once you have a series, how can you add elements to a series? Well, it's fairly simple. Just do a regular selection, but do the modification. This is pretty much the same thing that happens with a dictionary. So in this case, you say uh, G7, G7 pop at Brazil. I want to add this number at India. I want to add this number right there. Um, what about modification is the same thing. You can just change it uh, directly with that access and the same thing for deletion. All right. That's the same thing that happens right there. Just delete this uh, country and, uh, and now we check the series and it's no longer there. Delete India in this case and it's no longer there. There is also a membership um, uh, operator which basically tells you a true or false, returns true or false, if that given index is present in the zero. So in this case, we say, is friends located or is, is friends part, part of G7 pop? And yes, it is, it's right there. What about Brazil? It's not there. So in that case, um, we see the, the return value is false. So there is a little bit of a detail here about lock and nilock. It's something that is going to be a little bit important later, um, especially when we deal with data frames. Basically, the series, basically the series, what it has again is given our series, and I'm just going to do a summary of what it's written right here. You can clone the notebook and look and look at it on your own. When we did something like uh, the series at Canada, there you go. Actually, what we were referring to is actually in uh, g7pop.locate lock Canada, which is the same thing. For a series, this will not be a problem because there is no ambiguity in here. Just removing this thing doesn't introduce an ambiguity. This is going to be important in data frames. So I want you to keep it in mind. In data frames, we will always use dot lock. One more thing uh, for us to check, and again, this is just a summary of the whole process we have here with lock and iLock, is the concept of Boolean arrays or Boolean array based selection for series. In this case, what we have right here is that if we could numerate, right, the multiple options we had to select something out of a series, we could say we had just regular selection, G7 uh, pop at Canada, right? Um, we also did um, slicing, so up to Germany, for example, that worked. And also we did multiple selections. So here, if I just select here, Canada and Germany, only these two countries with a comma, I have multiple selections. So we have regular selection, just one element, slicing, a range out of the series, multiple selection, just select those elements that you want. And finally, we have this Boolean based selection in which what we're saying is it, it acts in pretty much, it's, the, it's a very generic way of selecting things. You can select multiple objects and it basically says, given a series, and let me show you again what it contains, um, you're going to pass a list of Boolean values indicating with a true Boolean value those elements that you want to return. Okay, so in this case, what we have right here is that we want to select um, only, we don't want Canada, we don't want France, we do want Germany, is the third one, uh, we don't want Italy, and we do want Japan, and finally, we want to also retrieve the United States. So right here, there you go, that's what it's selected. In this case, we're simplifying the series and the only thing we are, or, or the selection, sorry, and the only thing we are passing is the list. It's this entire list of values. To be honest, this could also be a series. So you could build a series and say, Canada falls, France falls, Germany, true. Japan, true. United States, true. And this is a little bit more, um, how to put it, um, self-documented, right? It's, it's a little bit more intuitive what's happening here. Of course, that, to be honest, we will never do this manually. We're going to actually show you how to create these things dynamically in our next video to, to have the more powerful 
um, Boolean selection. But given these type of these type of series, now I can filter again um, a given series with this Boolean series. So I can filter it with a Boolean list or NumPy array, or I can also create a Boolean series. This is going to be very important, and it's the subject of our following video, which is conditional selection or filtering.